This video introduces 3D Vitac, Learning Fine Grain Manipulation with Visuo Tactile Sensing, a paper accepted at the Conference on Robot Learning 2024. We present a multimodal sensing and learning system designed for precise, dexterous bimanual manipulation tasks. Here is our multimodal sensing system. We install flexible tactile sensors on soft grippers to obtain touch information and use multi-view RGBD cameras to capture visual data. Our tactile sensors feature dense sensing units, each covering an area of three square millimeters. These low-cost, flexible sensors provide detailed and extensive coverage of physical contacts, effectively complementing visual information. The tactile sensing pads employ a triple-layer design, where a piezo-resistive layer is sandwiched between two sets of orthogonally aligned conductive yarns serving as electrodes. We then use a reading board to collect signals from each intersection of the electrodes. To integrate tactile and visual data, we fuse them into a unified 3D representation space that preserves their structures and spatial relationships. Here is an example where our multimodal representation is used for imitation learning. The robot can compliantly grasp an egg under visual occlusion and place it in a narrow space. Let's look at more highlighted tasks. Two robot arms collaborate to open a plastic bag. Then, the right arm grasps one or several grapes and places them on a plate. The robot can keep retrying until it successfully grasps the grapes. Our dense tactile sensors also enable robots to perform precise in-hand manipulation skills. The robot first grasps a hex key, then performs an in-hand adjustment with both hands to prepare for insertion. For the fourth task, the robot is required to retrieve a fried egg from a pot and serve it onto bread. We can see the spoon passively reorienting in hand during the bimanual manipulation but our visual tactile policy can still successfully complete the task. To demonstrate the robustness of our policy, let's look at some comparison videos. With tactile feedback, the robot can keep retrying to grasp the egg even when a human resets the egg during grasping. However, a policy without tactile input may proceed to the next stage despite a grasping failure. When grasping grapes from the bag, the robot may pick up multiple grapes. Our visual tactile representation implicitly helps the robot to safely grasp with the appropriate amount of force, while the baseline policy may crush the grapes if multiple grapes are grasped. In the hex key collection task, the hex key's position in the hand can be random after grasping, but a successful in-hand adjustment secures the subsequent insertion task. It is much harder for the robot to adjust the hex key's pose successfully without tactile feedback. The passive reorientation of the spoon makes it challenging to place the egg in the correct position but our system can still complete the task accurately with the help of dense tactile feedback. We open source code and tactile hardware tutorials. If you have any questions, please feel free to send us an email. Thank you for your attention.